How does how does that sound? Uh, sound sounded good to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Anna, um, I understand you play different uh, genres. Um, do you have a favorite genre that you prefer to play? Um, I'm going to give, like, the very, like, cliche answer, which is, like, you know, music shouldn't be, like, boxed inside a genre or whatever. But I guess I guess folk music mostly because um, that's kind of what I first, like, listened to when I first uh, started writing music. So, you know, like, Bob Dylan. Um, I'm really a big fan of Josh Gerrels. He's kind of like this independent Christian artist. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. I always find it interesting um, on those answers, like you mentioned, you know, kind of a cliche, um, but every every artist has has a different answer. And I think that's important to show that, indep- you know, that independent way of looking at things um, and also to inspire others. Um, you mentioned a few artists, um, professional artists, that that's inspired your music. Um, but can you think of anyone else that's prof- professional or personal that's inspired your music? Uh, so I guess like when I first read this question, because like more of I automatically more of took it personally because like I think I would probably put my family kind of in that position because I have six siblings and um, my mom and dad, especially my mom. My mom's been very supportive and very vocal in my life. And I think that's really rounded me out. So, yeah, my family. Excellent. Okay, Anna, in your bio, um, you mentioned that you had a testimony that you enjoy sharing. Would you like to share that with our listeners? Uh, Yes. I mean, there's a lot of things that have happened in my life, but this one really specific uh, memory came to mind, which um, I was around 11 when I kind of, like, first encountered God. And... um, I recall one of the first things that God had told me was to open my Bible into the story of Daniel. And um, the thing that God told me was that I've called you to be holy like Daniel, to stand up against the evil things of this world. And it was really um, contrary to everything that I had really lived for, which was, you know, you want to be normal. You want to fit in. You want to... uh, you know, I guess kind of serve your own desires and to be called to be holy kind of means to be set apart. And I think, especially in this past year, as I'm getting older and like, I feel like a lot of my naivety towards, is that how you pronounce it? Naivety? Hey, hey, we're on a radio station, so it works. (laughs) I know, (laughs) naiveness, you know, kind of melts off. I get you. you. I get you. (laughs) Yeah. And I mean, really, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, you know, whether, um, you know, whether or whether or not it's popular or not, and I still believe it, you know? Amen. Many of us have have a lot of uh, amazing testimonies, and we've had other artists share some amazing testimonies um, here on WVBL Radio, and they never get old, and I really appreciate you sharing that. So thank you so much for, for sharing that with us here and here with our for our listeners. Thank you. Anna, um, are there any... Is there any places or um, any particular areas? I believe in previous conversations we've talked, and you've mentioned that you've performed in in, um, in, in Indianapolis. Here, um, is there any places that you typically play at, or, or do you have coming up? Or yeah, so I would say like venues I played at a lot. Um, I played at the Irving Theater a lot, and I also play at Books and Brews in Castleton. But I also play like all over the place. Okay, now, um, Anna, um, you do you, you had that one album come out, I believe it was called Ribs. Do you have a, another album coming out? Yes, I do. So um, I'm not going to drop the name right now. Okay. But, because <laughs> um, it's still in the works. Um, yeah, but the next album is supposed to be another 15-track album. Um, this one's kind of inspired by the body of Christ. And right now, I'm actually currently recording demos for it and you know, kind of drew me it up. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Excellent. We are definitely, uh, we'll be looking forward to it. And and when those release, releases come out, um, by all means, feel free to send them to us, and we'd be more than happy to play them here on WVBL Radio. Again, this is DJ Jam and Jade here on WVBL Radio. I have Anna Owens from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, um, here on W on, via phone interview. Anna won the Open Mic Night Show here on WVBL Radio, Open Mic Night Show. And she's uh, sharing her uh, music and her music story and bio with us. 
Um, for those who may be interested in finding her music, you can find find her music on her website at Anna Owens, I believe, music.com. Is that, is that correct? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna Owens.com. Um, oh, oh uh, Anna Owens Music.com. Oh, Anna Owens Music.com. Face, uh, um, on Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube. Um, is there any other uh, places that I missed there, Anna? Nope, that would be it. It's Anna, at Anna Owens Music. Awesome. Okay, Anna, it's been an honor and a blessing to have you here on WVBL Radio, and we look forward to following your career and uh, sharing your music. And here's more of Anna Owens' music after these brief messages.